Yo, I just wanted to pay homage to the man who I feel is one of the most important individuals who ever lived. You know, cause like it's a lot of messed up things going on right now. People money short, people can't find jobs, the stock market keep dropping. So I just sat down and I wrote him a letter. It goes something like this. Dear Martin Luther, I mean Dr. King I'm paying my respect cause I know you had a dream Although you didn't live to see it to fruition In 2008 we all came to see your vision We voted for the president, an African American I'm grateful cause I'm proud of him, not because I'm arrogant Maybe it's ironic or symbolic to our fate That it took a man from Africa to unite the states I'd rather be real than politically correct So I say how I feel, people still be upset I don't see why, but never mind I guess It's harder to remember than it is to forget By the way, we did find James Earl Way But he said he didn't do it till he died in 98 So we'll never know what happened that day On the balcony, April 4, 1968 I know you fought hard for my rights And it cost me nothing cause you paid with your life I thank you for giving black history a lesson I wrote this letter to update you on the present The people wanna change, but Bush didn't agree with us Luckily the old factor took over the media It started out in Hollywood, Oprah put it on the map It ended with Republicans who then turned to Democrats <laughs> Imagine that, and we was like this close from a revolution. I mean, I know people who said they was gonna write if Obama didn't win. And that ain't even a half of it. Let me tell you how it all started though. Well, Bush got elected, despite what I was feeling. One year later, a plane hit a building. A lot of people died, we blamed Osama. Then we went to war and we started more drama. The war was on terror, so we had to attack. Then we sent a whole bunch of soldiers to Iraq To find these so-called weapons of destruction But Bush used that as a method of corruption The bad news is people, kids got slain The good news is, well, we did find Hussein We found him in the ditch even though we wasn't looking We celebrated, then told the UN to book him so they took them, but the war wasn't over It would be a long time before we got to see our soldiers Bush wasn't having it, no one could save us He told us we had to find the leader of Al-Qaeda That was been Latin, but he's still missing So we began to question the purpose of the mission Some say it's oil, it gotta be the gas With the OPEC monopoly, the economy could crash Man, and that's crazy these people control like 90% of the world's oil and they charging everybody outrageous prices like really though. And it's like a domino effect cause we run our economy off a non-renewable resource. Dr. King, your boy been stressing. All of these events have led to us recession. And it's depressing, sorta like a drought. Now people homeless who couldn't keep their house. The unemployment line full of people on welfare. And old folks who need work to pay for health care. I thank God they ain't never need a wheelchair. But sometimes I do wonder why I'm still here. Must be a purpose. Was it an accident? Or did I get my way with words on purpose? If it's a gift, I have yet to reap the benefits. But that's cool, Dr. King, let me finish this. I can't trip. At least I get to vote now. At least we got a new president to give us hope now. At least I could walk out in America and be recognized for the content of my character. At least if I ever had kids, I could share my history and tell them what you did. In the same sentence, say you could be anything. The president, a doctor, and a king. Like you, no matter what people say. And that's why I wrote this. Sincerely, Trey.